Me and Taylor Mike, I made that bitch famous. Uh, I, I made, made that, that bitch famous. famous. Kanye West. Give yeah, Kanye. I'm ready. Oh, we live, baby. We, we live, live baby. We live, baby. Fame. I'm cut the yeah. track, baby. All right. Welcome all right. to the One Stop Podcast. Where we talk sports and all, all that, that other shit. shit. And we back for some odd reason. I have no idea. We, but we, we back, back. We back by popular demand. Yeah, um, I'm going to tell you. I tell you. Uh, it's my fault. I apologize, everybody. I don't um, know if it's your fault. Whatever. Whatever. We ain't gonna it, get into it's, that. it's somebody's fault. Yeah, we, we maybe maybe that. I should take responsibility. No, it's no, yeah. In fact, you definitely should take responsibility for what's going on. Well, whatever. It's, uh, a, it's America. I don't gotta take responsibility for nothing. Mm. You know, people in America don't I don't gotta take Oh, because Trump don't take responsibility. Exactly. I'm I'm, I'm deflecting I feel I'm deflecting what I want to You know, do. I'm gonna start spinning shit the way the um Republican champ campaign spins everything. Like if someone body slams somebody, I'm gonna just go. <laughs> well, the other person had it coming. <laughs> yeah, you you had it out for you. Yeah, for real. Like you know how it is in these interviews when person asks you much question, you get frustrated. Hey, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna start body slamming people and be like, not really my fault. They kind of asked for it. It was a look they gave me. I didn't like it. My arms went one way. So it. it body went the other. All right, bro. So, so question number six. Uh huh. I just gotta get this off my chest. Get it out of there. Why do you have them sunglasses on? I wear my sunglasses at night so I can. Yo, don't worry about what I'm doing, man. Yo, let I me just, live. I, this I is, just, this I is my thing. Why you got the sunglasses? Dude, on. you be you and I be me. Be like you. No, dog, take them off. I dog. wanna be, I wanna be like my Kaya. <laughs> Yo, be yourself, man. I like, I, I, I like mean, wearing my shades. Man. LeBron wears sunglasses. Mike wears sunglasses. Dude, I'm pretty sure Yo, a lot I, of folks wear sunglasses. So I seen. Dude, I lived in California for a while. I think I got it from there. I'm going to go with that. I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to go with that. San Diego, what's happening? I miss it sometimes. Can't wait to go back for my birthday. Y'all ready? I'm sad. Are y'all ready? I'm sad. I gotta... Are we doing this? Mari, are we doing this? I'm sad. I gotta... I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm sad. I got to be your friend. Hey, man. I'm like, so why dope. do you have to San be San Diego and Vegas friend. about to be the shit, bro. Bro, I'm why? so excited. Well, like, why do I have to be your you're my best friend. You ain't, got no friend. you ain't got no choice. Will better step up. We got to talk about who's going to babysit Liam. But we're going to talk about it. We get it together. Uh, Meech, get in there, Meech. I don't know why. You, what are you going to do? You and Sierra, get in there. Uh, who else? Uh, Brad, Zell, Rodimus. Wendy, Rodimus. D. I don't really care about Dean. No, no, this is not to say his name by default. They mo determine it by default. No. Just you don't hit him out. Chris, I want Chris to come now. Big on, big on, gotta come. Like yo, San Diego, Vegas, about to be the move, man. September, you got a lot of time to make this happen. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to hear nothing like I ain't got the money. Yo, save now, save fifty dollars every paycheck until September. You'll be fine. We don't need that many rooms. Yo, we all homies. We all can stay. We ain't gonna be in the room that much anyway. Whatever. Hey, man. NBA Finals coming up. You know, I, I talked about this earlier, and I actually got pissed off because apparently I decided to mess the whole damn podcast up, and uh, now I got to say everything I said over again. I, I don't even again. remember what we were talking about. Well, we were talking about how we're not going to compare LeBron James to Michael Jordan, which I thought was, you know, a decent argument because they played two different positions and they're mm -hmm. two different people. Yep. One, because Michael Jordan is a pure scorer. He changed the game a little bit. Granted, Granted, I yeah, happen to watch and, it. And Michael, and Michael, first half of his career, he's a legit scorer. That's, that's what he yeah, was. But the second half of the his career. The later half of his career, when he really started winning all the rinks, he became a facilitator. But you know why? Because he was getting his ass beat. Like, no, for I, right. I, I watched the 30 for 30s, and I was like, yo, they beat the shit out of Michael. Because, but yeah, think about it. The competition was daily, too. Like, but the, yo, but it, when, I the think, Suat, when the Seattle Supersonics are good. No, I thought the competition was like that yo, because back they, then no, the Cavs no. was even good. No, they, they were. The Hornets were good. Yo, no, but let's say why. Yo, let's say let's say why. Let's say why. Why? That's because they allow people in the game to actually be more physical. So you talk about guys that could be really physical. They got to change their whole style playing. Like I mean, I watched them boys give Michael a full arm shiver. There's like, <sighs> yeah, they smashed Michael in the, in the east, joint. In the East, so, think about what Michael had to go through right in the East. He had to go through Detroit. Right. Indiana was good. Right. The New York was good. Okay. I think Milwaukee was pretty decent. Uh, they what? I think they were pretty yeah, decent back then. You know, right amazed. Uh, I don't. Yo, like. So, but but I'm LeBron just. LeBron had to go through 
I'll wait. <laughs> no, 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 I'll, but no, no. I'll wait, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want. Wait. Listen, no, Ooh, no. Toronto. Who? I don't want to. No, I don't want to hear about the competition about the East through the West and who was better and who was worse. Because you think about it, Golden State went twelve and zero, and nobody said shit about it. Nobody said this oh, year though. I don't. It don't matter. It they was year. they was good and last year. Fact, they, they broke know, a record. We all, know, we all know why Golden State went twelve and zero this year because. Houston had a banged up um what the, the the center boy I can't think of his name right now I mean not Houston um Utah Utah had the bang up center kid Houston lost Kawhi like that's the no, not, Houston, uh, San Antonio Spurs, yeah. San Antonio lost Kawhi so that's the whole reason that the Spurs went I mean on the um, no, Warriors no, were undefeated no. I'm gonna tell you what it sound like you doing bro what that it sound like you trying to justify why they went twelve and zero. Other than the fact that they went seventy three and nine last season, I get and it. They added did they the go undefeated b- in the playoffs last year? No, it don't. It don't matter. They still how much games they lost in the playoffs? Like uh, four? they lost enough not to win the championship. That had nothing to do with this. I'm talking but, about before. What, what about before, okay, before the championship? Before they, the championship. Still, they lost. A, they lost a couple. They played Houston, right? They played Houston. Right? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember that far back. I know, man. but they still they lost some games. Matter of fact, against uh, OKC. They, they had they, to go they, to game seven. They was win. down three. That's OKC you know fault. Saying. But I'm saying, though, the competition was so real. Like, But we ain't talking about last we, year. We, we, talking about this we know year. right now Golden State had it easy in their bracket because of injuries. LeBron had it easy in his in his Because league. he's the best player in the fucking LeBron world. LeBron had it easy in his league, not because of injury, because whether or not Let me know you're done with IT that. play or not, I'm we I'm already felt that. Matter of fact, if IT would have played, they would have swept the Celtics. Turn it out. Something we don't want to gain. Last time they I get funky, funky, funky. No, real shit. Yo, listen. Why you don't want to talk about it? Why you want to talk about it? Turn it out. Niggas, man. Crisscross. Everybody. I tell you, man. You don't like the truth, do you? No, that's not what I'm saying. I, I feel like you make an excuse in uh, why. Who, who am I making an excuse for? Who? Why Golden State was undefeated to some degree. Did Kawhi not get hurt? He did get hurt. Was the boy from Utah not really hurt? Like, Was he, was he, he hurt? Was, he was hurt. So what, but, what am I saying? But I'm, I'm still saying I'm confused. that. No, I'm, I'm confused. No, I'm just saying that out of all that, Golden State probably would have still probably lost one, maybe two games. One, maybe two. If and Kawhi was there, it went to seven games with the Spurs. That was not going to go to if seven. If it would have gone, if Kawhi was there, seven games. That would not 100%. go. A hundred percent. Do you not see what what kind of I don't lead? Think, I don't think we know. I don't think it go to seven it games. It seven games. It was not going to it seven, goes games. seven games. No, man. Mm-hmm. Listen there, man. Yo, them dudes been checking out by the third quarter. I, listen, how when Kawhi was there, they were up twenty something. That was game. Out. That was game one. Game one, and and, I mean, oh, and and Golden State. So that's the Spurs' fault for losing that game. But I'm still saying that because the they had no Kawhi. Right, but I'm that's still, like for the Spurs, I, I still don't think it would have made a first difference. First of all, first of all, Kawhi is like a LeBron for the Spurs. No LeBron for the Cavs. Where do you think the Cavs go? Ooh, and what? And what the, regards? To the playoffs, they might make like, playoffs. They got Kevin Love. They're gonna make. They're making the playoffs. With but him. without LeBron, that's like Ka- like Kawhi is the LeBron for the Spurs. Not saying he, no, I'm, I'm not. No, 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 no What's your no, problem here? What no, you thinking is? No, no, no. no listen, you thinking I'm saying he's better than LeBron? I didn't. Say or he's that. on the same level as LeBron. I'm not saying that. I'm saying he's what the what LeBron is to the Cavs. Kawhi is to the Spurs. They don't move or function without him. They don't. Okay. The Cavs don't function or go anywhere without LeBron. So, and then they're the best defense, one of the best defensive teams on the Spurs because they had Kawhi, who locks a lot of players down, right? Okay. So, what, I mean, you lose Kawhi, you lose LeBron. Say LeBron get hurt first game of this series. Right. Tear something. We don't even watch this finals anymore. No. We don't. I mean, hell, people already think, you said, people are, well, not you, but people are already saying, me. People are already saying they think Golden State going to sweep the Cavs. No, nah, hell no. That's just stupid. I'm just saying. What no, I, won't go, I think Golden State going to win. I want them to win. I want KD to get a ring. You I said you KD got Golden State in five? No, I got them in six. You got them in six? I got, I, got, I got Cavs in seven. Okay. Now, I want I want KD to get a ring because I don't want everybody putting that shit over his head like they put over Charles Barkley's head. Oh, well. Like, it really hate. I, I really get pissed off. Like, I'm not even that much of a fan of Charles Barkley, to be honest. I'm really not. But you know he's one but of the But I hate he's a I know top, he's, I know he's a top, top 50, 50 player. player. And I hate when all Shaq can say to him is, you ain't got no ring. Nigga, without Kobe and Wade, Shaq, you don't have one either. Shaq shouldn't be saying that to nobody. Club ass feet. Oh, bro. that boy yo, feet. That look, boy look feet look boy, so bad. Yo, Mo Dog can keep his feet Ooh, out anytime he want to, man. 
Yo, bro. Why Shaq feet look yo, like that? Shaq, he making Charlie too much money. Shaq, <laughs> Shaq big toe like he throwing a hook to the right <laughs> to the rest of his toes, right? And like my boy said, uh, sent a message to me on Facebook. He said, "Hey man, it looked like um." Shaq feed those an 18 wheeler trying to get across like three lanes of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that boy feel a little bad. But no, for real, I really hate when he come at Barkley on that. Because we all know yeah. Barkley ain't got a ring. It's we we all it's it's said and it is what it is. Like a lot of these cats wouldn't have a ring unless they join Ray Allen, no ring unless he joined KG and Paul Pierce. A hey, question. KG, no ring unless he joined Paul Pierce Ray Allen. A hey, question. How many rings does uh Michael win without Robin and Pippen? Maybe one or two. Maybe. Maybe one. Maybe one or two. Okay. No. Maybe one or two. Maybe one or two. But he had to steal Robin from the Pistons to get the other couple, right? Actually, he took Robin from the Spurs. For, where was Robin See, at before that? Robin, went, he was at the Spurs. Yes. And then. And then he went to the. Um, no, then he went to no, the he, Pistons. No, he said Pistons. Yeah. Then he went to the Spurs. Spurs. Yeah. And then after he had his time in um, Chicago, he went to L.A. for a little stint. Nobody cared no more about nah. that. He was done. He was done nah, already. He was, he's, he was done. Nah, he's, yeah, he was done. But I'm saying, like, they got him from the Spurs. So, he was already done with the Pistons. He was legit with the Pistons, though. I mean, he was nice. He was nice, man. So, all I'm saying is, Kawhi and LeBron, when it comes to importance to their team, same guy. One is more talented than the other because one is the best player in the league. And, matter of fact, in the world. Like, remember, we had, remember I told you that conversation? Like, how do, like, I wonder how Kobe, LeBron, Jordan feel when they know they're the best they're the player best in the world. world. I mean, I think. Like, the best. Like, yo, when you, like, I don't care. You can say, oh, that person, well, I know a guy on the ballpark. On the, well, he ain't in the league. Whatever. He didn't make, he didn't he didn't make it. Yeah. For what the world knows, at one point, Kobe was the best player in the world. Right yeah. now, LeBron is the best player in the world. And at one point, Michael, Michael was the best Michael. player in the world. And everybody still considered him GOAT. Which and is, the reason we don't give people like Bill Russell GOAT titles because they played before the ABA was popping. Sorry. Before the ABA integrated into the NBA. Because I don't take no championship series until the ABA got there. That's just me. It is yeah, what it is. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I, it I, is what I, it is. I ain't going to sit there and argue with that. Mm-hmm. No, I, I like the fact that, uh, you know, so let's talk about this. Mm-hmm. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all the way up over there. Hey, man, we go. It's I'm all, all, all the that, way up. All the other shit. We go nothing, wherever we want to go. Nothing is so – we feel like LeBron's probably been the most durable championship. Yo, player he has not we, been hurt. No, he he didn't get hurt. That is a blessing. You every player hey, has so been why, hurt. So why do you think that's that way though? It might be his condition, man. Yo, he, he works his ass off. He, he works off Look. a bit, and, and he sits down games. He's also six nine, and he's a facilitator, so he ain't slashing. Look, you already the paint know my like people, that. LeBron. Yeah. I have no problem with LeBron's LeBron. Talent. LeBron's a, is a flopper. Yo, is if he be, never LeBron, flop, yo, it just yeah. I don't know, man. Me being a man. I ain't play sports on the highest level in the world, but I play sports. And never in my life, but at any point where I thought of saying, oh, someone hit me. But, and but, I fake it. But I'm going to tell you. If I'm, I'm a, the best player in the world, that's the last thing I'm thinking on my mind. But I'm and Shaq you, did that shit before, too. That's why I respect Shaq at some point. Because when he was with, um, it was either with the Heat or maybe with his later half of his career with the um, Celtics or whatever. Maybe it was the Phoenix. One of those teams. You know, Shaq, not, it and, was and, Cleveland. And, and Shaq, Shaq went on so many fucking and, teams. In Shaq's mind, he thought he was the championship getter. But the thing is, Shaq, he was going against the White, and he flopped his ass off. And yeah. it pissed me off because he was all, I'm the big arrow. I'm the big arrow. Stato. Like, yo, if you're the big arrow, Stato, you got feet like that, what are you flopping <laughs> for? <laughs> <laughs> you got feet. That can fucking clutch the ground, bro. This is a cause, right? Shaq, you walking around on two. Shit, digging into the two court. Two goddamn track to feet. Yo, yo, that nigga Kenny said, yo. Like, bro, you're a billionaire, bro. Get your feet, get your feet together, bro. <laughs> your feet shouldn't look like that, bro. You're a billionaire. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I have no problem with LeBron as far as the talent. But no. Def- definitely not off the court. Well, think about it. He's this. a model. Like, I would want my kids to one day act how LeBron act off the court. But when it comes to this flopping shit, I hate it because but he's. You gotta think about it. Kobe never Le- did it. Listen, LeBron is a product of what the league has watered the game no, down. No, 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 to. no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Because yeah, I want to. No, I want to. No, I want to that shit. Because Ginobili and fucking Vlade and all them niggas been in the league the same time Kobe been in there, and I ain't never seen Kobe flop once. Show me a video. I see fucking Harrison Barnes 
pushed the, like the ball in Kobe's face and he didn't flinch. Hey man, Kobe a thug, man. Kobe. All Co- I'm saying Co- is Kobe, Kobe ain't from Philly. Yet. Do I gotta say that? Look, no. All I'm saying is no. I think it's it's different. It's it's different. No, man. I don't want to hear this the era you live because the era which the flopping shit started is with Flotty. Ginobili and all those guys that was in that, but you that came, in the, that but came you, in the Kobe era, right? But you can't expect all of them to do that. So now LeBron shouldn't have LeBron six nine. He rides to the rim. He's so not. If gonna, you six nine, why are you flopping? He shouldn't flop. Six nine, two hundred and something pounds, bro. Yeah, he shouldn't flop. He shouldn't be flopping at all. No, I don't. But I think him I being him where, being the best player in the world, he feels like he's going to get that call. I seen a play, and he play, don't even need to do that to get, get the call. He, do get it. he don't need to do it I to get the call. I seen a play where Kristen, uh, Tristan Thompson hit him, and, and then he, he fell to <laughs> the ground. Yo, he always in the, yo, and they gave him the call. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's not. Can, they I, gave him Tristan Thompson hit him, his own teammate, and they gave him the call. Yeah, no, I you, don't. I don't respect. shit like that. You gotta look at the camera. I don't yeah, no, fuck, I, don't, no. I don't. And the Bronze should get attacked. They, no, they, they should find him for he flopping. Should find, he should get fined. No, fine ain't gonna hurt LeBron. Give him a fucking tech. Matter of fact, all these enemy players who flop like that, the fucking um, Marcus Smarts of the world, the LeBron James, even the D Wade, all these cats that flop like that should get a tech. And the next time they do something stupid like that, kicked out the game. I bet you that'll set them straight. That ain't gonna happen. The league. Probably not. But you, you think the league gonna allow LeBron to get a tech and kicked out of the game? It should, bro. That shit is ridiculous, bro. No. It's, it's kids on the playground right now flopping. They're flopping. Flopping. Because LeBron doing it. <laughs> really? I mean, I used to shoot the ball and go, Michael Jordan. Michael. <laughs> Not cast or going, get the ball. Uh, LeBron. You but know what Le- I'm saying? But you got to think about it. Jordan had to learn how not to flop. Because he was getting his ass beat when he was playing against Detroit. It ain't, it ain't about not to flop. It, I mean, that Jordan wouldn't, just it, didn't it, wouldn't, it. It wouldn't the mentality. You're right. Exactly. It wasn't, it wasn't the mentality. It was a to do fucking that. adult. But I'm gonna tell you what happened. So when they changed the league from it actually being where you can hand check a player, that's when you knew it was gonna get solved. Because even when uh, Silver was what's his name? Uh, oh, Adam Silver. Uh, yeah. Oh, you talking about David Stern. Stern? When Stern was it, he was like, "Yo, I felt like the game got a little out of hand. We had to like set back on." So, <laughs> the so, so the physicality is, of the game actually changed a bit. It's so weak. It changed. So, but I'm not saying I want the hand checking back. No, nah, that should they should bring it back. That means you can get your only ball handle skills up. No, only because with the hand checking, you can actually put your hand on somebody's waist and move them. Mm-hmm. That ain't fair because some of these cats are lot. If if a power four is a guard, if a LeBron type dude is guarding a Chris Paul, right? Yeah, he's big as shit. He's gonna move that nigga around, right? Bam, bam, bam. You How can, you learn not you, to flop? They don't teach that in basketball. You're right, D. D. They don't teach it in basketball. I don't know. You, when, how about so, how about just be a fucking dude? How about be a man and not dude, just do it? We already know these boys can't man up. How about just be a man? We how about the, how about not be the little Uzi verts and the dumb thugs of the world and getting purses and dresses bro, we, and shit? We know they and be can't be a fucking man. We know they can't man. That up. will stop you from flopping. We know they can't man up. I don't know what yo. They play you. diva ball like most of these boys live for AAU balls and prep ball. Let me tell you, what, and then they get the calls because they already feel like they the chosen one. Let me tell you, what my uncle Brian used to tell me back in the day. Right, I remember when pink became the fashion. Right, Cam Ryan had everybody wearing pink. Mm-hmm. My brother Zell was wearing pink, you know, the pink T-shirt. Made that shit look kind of good, to be honest. I remember my Uncle Brian coming up to me and said, Hey, nephew, if I ever catch you with any, punk, any fucking pink, I'm going to punch you in your fucking face. You know what yeah. that did to me? I ain't never thought about wearing pink or fucking getting. You ain't wore pink? No, I never wore it. I never wore it in the first place. But when Zell used to wear that shit and be like, she'd be like, I shit look, not, look, not, too, look not, not too bad. I thought about it. I might get me a pink shirt. When my uncle told me that shit, and I believed him, I knew he would punch me in my face. And what I'm going to do? My mom ain't going to say nothing to him. My dad ain't going to say nothing to him. That's my uncle. Your your shirt kind of pink right now. (laughs) You fucking colorblind (laughs) as shit right now. (laughs) But but what I'm saying, like, yo, where the men at in these these dudes' family, bro? Like, yo, I I don't understand this weak stuff. I don't understand. Like, you, you can coach your kid to be on the playground and be like, yeah, you can flop. That's okay. It's not okay with me. I don't think that they're teaching that to their kids. Look, I got a couple, I got a few nephews from Zell, and I got one from Philly right now. It ain't happen if they're around me. It ain't happen. It's I don't not. Th- I don't. I don't think nah. that they're teaching flopping in the game. Let my sister have a baby. They're not teaching flopping in the game. Look, my sister have a baby. He unless she keep him away from me. <laughs> not me. Yo, they're not. not yo, they're man. not teaching flopping in the game though. Well, why is it happening right because now? Because you look at the TV and you know because the so role think, models uh, is LeBron James, right? And he doing it. 
defense. Exactly. So you look at the game, you're like, Batman. I want to be like my best player right there. If I'm the best player on the court amongst these scrubs and you see six, nine dudes dunking over five, two dudes, pss, I might get the call on a five, seven guy. That's not cool, man. I don't agree with it. I'm just, I'm just telling you what happened to the league. AAU has ruined basketball. That's what it is. I just want a world where men can be men and let women be women, bro. Hey, man, you know what it is. You know why I'm here. Like, for real. Like, I mean, it's okay to wear rompers now. No, it ain't. For men, it's some men, no, it, it is, ain't. right? That's the world we live in right now. I mean, nobody said nothing to Prince. Prince didn't wear rompers in it. Prince. No, but he wore his ass. He's out. He's a weird guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just say, nobody said nothing to no, Prince, no, no, though. I, I, had, I had this conversation with Marissa, like, earlier today. We were, um, earlier this morning, we were talking about it. What up, Jess? And we were like, yo, it is it is all coming full circle, right? It all is coming full circle. Like, mm-hmm. these young cats, the little Uzi Verts, the, the little Yachty, the young thugs, whoever they want to be, wearing all this different shit. Because when I was growing up, my family, we love Prince music, but my dad looked at Prince like one of them funny bunnies. Funny bunnies. One of them funny cats, man. Like, yeah, yo, you just. <laughs> for real, my, my, my dad was like, yo, good music, but don't mark, don't, don't be this guy. Nah, you don't want to be like, like you that. Don't wanna, you don't want to be this guy. So the Rick James, you don't want to be this guy. Them boys live in a different area. It's way, different area. Way different so era. why can't the, we teach our kids now, all right, for y'all, they make good music. The Lil Uzi's and all, they make good music. No, they don't. They don't. To me, they don't. But, <laughs> trash. To, but I know. To <laughs> me, uh, trust me, to me, they don't. But to that the, music to is the trash. kids, their age and shit, and the kids growing up. They think the music is good. They think the music is good. So, the music, good. Quality of the music, whatever. If you feel that way about it. But don't be that guy. No, I can't do that. So, I mean, I, I, don't, I think the way things are in this world these days, kids can't distinguish where... The music and the person. Hey what? Jess, this is the one stop podcast where we talk sports and all that other all shit. other shit. We on other shit. We on other shit right now. We we flip flop. We do whatever we want to do because why is our shit? It's our podcast. <laughs> it's our podcast. You know, but I'm just saying, like it can. When I was growing up, my my family was telling me whatever. I can distinguish what between the two. I knew what was like. Nah, I didn't want to be, and I knew what good music is. These kids, everything so social media and out there. It's like yo. I'm connecting with the person and whatever the person do. I mean, you got to think involved. about it. You, if I can send my favorite player a, a, a message, like, hey, can you get me out of a test if I get 30? Oh, 20? yeah, Kobe yo, did that shit. Yo, everybody's yeah. doing it. Like, I mean, we're we too connected as people. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to be 100% right now. No Nicki Minaj fan, right? But I heard she's paying tuition. <laughs> Oh, I seen I it. I reached out. I seen it. <laughs> you seen it. I re- and, and I was like, yo, man, pay these student loans, bro. <laughs> What did Nikki say? Did she, did she hit my, you back? Hell no, man. Because you don't look like Safari. I know, I meant man. you don't look like Drake. I, look like I meant you don't look like uh, Lil Wayne. Nas. I meant my bad. You don't look like Nas. I'm just call the whole lineup out right Hey, man, I'm just trying to get these student loans, baby. I ain't judging. You don't real. look like Meek Mills. But no, I'm just, man, I just want my nephews to grow up differently, bro. I can't I can't have it, man. Nah, man. I, it's, it's I got some man. good nephews out there, and, and one was born yesterday, and I'm excited. And I'm just I want different I want different outcomes for them. I don't want Lil Uzi Vert to be their role model. I hope he is Uzi Vert. That's how you movie. feel about Will son? No man, yo, that ain't gonna happen. We know Will. Yo, we, we yo, know, yo, 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 hell yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, yo. One person we know we know fucking Will Simmons. He ain't having that shit. All I'm saying is like, I want look if if so I, like Lil Liam Vert. <laughs> yo, Will gonna whip your ass, bro. I hope he punch you right in the face, bro. I swear to God, I hope he punch you right in your shit. But all I'm saying is, like, I want my kid whatever they choose in the later in the later half of their life is cool. But I don't want them into this bullshit they got going on. Now. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna have no kids, man. I think I came to the conclusion of that. that. I'm having one. I ain't gonna have no kids. I want, I want two. I ain't gonna have no kids. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be that uncle with no kids. No man, I don't want to. They, they all gonna show up to my house. I don't want to be that uncle, bro. I'm all right, all right. I can't because my sister don't have any kids. Oh well. So I don't want to be that uncle, bro. But you ain't even married though. I know, but whatever. I'm just saying. I don't want to be. that I'm uncle, just saying. Bro. I already feel like I'm that uncle. Bring your kids you, to my house. You are right now, but I kind of am the uncle. Dude, already. still young though. It's, so. it's a lot of time, but I don't want to be that uncle, bro. I want my own. I want my own kids, bro. I want. I want my own. I ain't with. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I don't want to adopt any kids. <laughs> hey, how, hey, how do you kick people off the podcast that's listening? You can kick people off. 
Oh man, just uh, I want to kick Jesse out. Tell something, little Uncle Chris, Uncle Lil. Was <laughs> 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 oh, that a light skin one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. it, little boxer Chris. <laughs> My Uncle Lowe's jacket. No, my Uncle Lowe's jacket. She called me Uncle That's Lowe's my boy, Uncle Lowe's. Don't talk about Uncle Lowe's jacket, man. Hey, don't talk about Uncle Lowe's. Don't talk about Uncle Lowe's jacket like that. That's my dude right there. I fuss with Uncle Lowe's jacket. It's one of my, if anybody my boy, it's Uncle Lowe's jacket, man. I'm kick her off the podcast. Nah, but I mean, yo, man, it is what it is, man. It's, it's a different world we live in. Hey, man, I, I got something that I actually want to talk about. What up, though? Why'd your wide receiver show the hell up the training camp weighing 362 pounds? Oh, that's what KJ doing? I don't, I, mean, know I don't know how much he weighed. I'm sure it was a lot of weight, though. They say he was overweight. He was heavy. Look, man, I'm so diehard Panther fan. You don't even kill it. But I don't know what's going on right now. I don't. They say he ran a 4'7", though, right? I made that up, too. I don't know. What I don't know. I haven't, yo, I, haven't, I haven't been in the mini camps like I have the past two years. Like the past two years... I was all on mini camp. You know, I can tell you everything that's going on in our mini camps. Yeah, they put, that boy, they put that boy online. He can block somebody. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, he's like 6'5". He got to get his shit together. Yo, he can block somebody right now. Put him at left tackle. I mean, I think he's up. He's Yo, put, of, put him on a blind, yeah. blind side. <laughs> if he don't get his shit together, though, McCaffrey's going to come in and like get all the touches at the, at the I mean, spot. I mean, I feel like that's going to work out good. I mean, I, you but, know, I don't but know. Benjamin don't play slot, though, like that. No, he no he's the, he's and, outside. And then even he's, last, the number, he's the number one outside. Yo, you me tell you what. And the bad part about it, Funch is hurt right now. I'm gonna tell you what I think about the Panthers. What happened? They got a bunch of high talent, highly questionable players. Like who? Because Cam Newton, one was one of my favorite players I seen coming out of college. I'm like, yo, Cam's okay, he's cool, but he had one really good season his rookie year, and then he had a very special season. A very special season where he took him to the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. but then he had this last season that was trash. I'm like, yo, I mean, he was hurt. You got to think how many, how many times, yo, the way Cam was getting hurt, hit last year. I don't want to. It's hit. not cool, bro. No, I First agree. First of all, I want to hear shit from you about what. Um, yo, I don't want to hear that because I'm talking about the pants. Because when it comes, to, no, when it comes to you, bro, like you make excuses for everything. I never seen anybody make so much excuses for their team, bro. If it ain't the refs, what did you say? The other, I need to go back to my my go back to my text message because you always blaming somebody else for some shit that your team ain't doing right. You mean says the guy that got upset because one of his players left to go to the league and felt like they ain't had a chance? No, no, I'm, I'm upset about. I'm, I'm mad. Tony Bradley. Yes, I'm mad. Tony Bradley went to the league. I'm not saying we ain't got a chance, but we had a better chance. But with Tony care. Bradley, I don't care. I don't really give but a fuck. But you make excuses. I if, don't if, give a if, fuck. If it ain't the refs, it's somebody else, bro. Like, you you can't talk about nothing about no, anybody. No, but what I'm saying. Who made more no, can, can, can we get back to what I think about the Panthers, though? Okay, give it to me. Kelvin Benjamin had one good season. And after that, he's been a little questionable. Both of y'all running backs at one point in time, when y'all had Jay Stu and uh, what's the cat? Uh, Williams. Yep. They were very questionable. That was that was a terrible decision by the GM to actually put those dudes in that situation. I'm uh-huh. like, what the hell are they doing? That's terrible. Like, I wouldn't give my backfield 32 million and don't get no, no that, production. That's that what was, we got rid of that, that GM. That was terrible. We got rid of that um, GM. But what I do like is the defense is well. That other question. That's an organizational questionable thing. Is y'all shouldn't have got rid of George Norman. Like y'all should have kept Josh around. But I actually like Luke Keekley. I was like, Keekley's a good. Like Keekley's good. You know, and Shaq good. Thompson's good. And even uh, Thomas Davis was pretty good for y'all. Like, I actually like that. But a lot of the you stuff. You already know how I felt about Luke Keekley. I didn't want him. You didn't want Luke? I didn't. You didn't want Shaq either? No, I didn't want Shaq either. You didn't want Luke or Shaq? They're the best players on your team. No, they're not. The, Luke is the one of the best players. So where's Shaq at? He's not top better five. than Thomas Davis right top now. Top five, though. No, no, no. no. Shaq's Shaq Shaq definitely top five. No, he's definitely. But I didn't. Look, I'm not. I'm, I'm a, a diehard Panther fan. I'm not going to sit here and lie. About the players I want and didn't want. I didn't want Luke Keekley because I wanted Poe. I wanted the defense alignment Poe because I remember Ray Lewis. I remember Ray Lewis' conversation. He was like, yo, I need big bodies up front to open up me being the move the way I want to move. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's when they got the old boy, um, Alohinata. That's when they, that's Alohi, when Alohi, Raven, Alohi, yeah. yeah, that's when Raven got. So I was thinking, yo, we already got John Beeson. Right. We got Thomas Davis. I like Beeson for y'all. Beeson was good we for y'all. We had Beeson. We had Davis. So I'm looking at, I'm looking at like, why would we draft a linebacker? Because you don't need him. You, you figure you didn't need we one. We didn't need one. I felt like we didn't need one. So it made sense what my logic was, but, but I was wrong. But when you looked at the way Shaq, that, when Shaq played, he came in the draft as an athlete. 
Yeah. And so the last player that I think he should be playing safety. I'm gonna be which, real. Which he can play safety. I think he which should. Is, that's how I feel Cause, about because we were weak at safety. That's how I feel about Jabril Preppers when he got drafted. I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. the Browns got a hell of a player. Like that dude is a fucking Swiss exactly. Army, a Swiss Army knife exactly. right there. What do you want? Like open a bottle of wine? What, you want to stab somebody? What are you trying to do? Shoot somebody? Yo, I actually like uh, Jabril Preppers, but no. Shaq is Shaq is pretty good for y'all. I actually like that. I know but, you you wanted that pick. Now he's a good. Oh yeah, I definitely want that pick. Yeah, for, I, I definitely I want that pick when for we the picked Cowboys. Them, you was like, y'all fucking I was, hate I was y'all. pissed. Yeah, I was mad. super pissed by that. Yeah, pick. yeah, yeah, you was pretty mad about that. No, he's a player. Hey man, Action Jackson, get off the line, man. I don't care that you're a diehard Panthers fan. <laughs> oh, Action Jackson, Panthers fan. <laughs> yeah, that's why that's Action, my boy, man. Jackson, that's why man. that's why I fuck with. That's why Action Jackson, my boy, man. That's why that's my dude, man. I'm I'm happy you're Panther fan. Or if you can really? do it, you gotta cut your volume off the phone. Please. Thank you. Oh shit, I ain't what's going on. Stupid oh. Man, shut your dumb ass up. I'll be that. No, I'll, look, all I'm saying is no, I didn't I didn't want Shaq Thompson. No, I didn't want Luke Eakley. But I was wrong. And I'm not mad that I was wrong. At the end of the day, I'm a Panther fan, so I'm looking at it as what we could have actually used on D. Because at the end of the day, Poe is balling. We can't yeah. lie and say Poe not balling. Yeah, no. So if good. we would have got him, it still would have made sense for hey, us if he would have did what he's doing. How's that make you feel like he's in Atlanta now? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a look. Atlanta gonna be Atlanta, bro. They so had you, t- you tell me they gonna melt down. <laughs> they gonna melt down, <laughs> Yo, bro. That was the biggest. Yeah. That, that was the, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was the biggest troll I've seen. Look, like we ain't worried about it. <laughs> the twenty-eight three. Look, Yo. We're not gonna worry about that, Yo, but man. you got you got to realize that the Bucks really didn't have a like. I, it was cute Yo, for them. Bucks gonna be scary this year though. With, no, with D Jack, bro, no, I don't know. No, I don't. Matter of fact, I don't know what their defense is like. I don't know what their defense is like right now. They they okay. Like I mean, they went what, nine and seven last season. I think there was something okay. But I think the NFC South will be one of the best conference this year. AP. And fucking Saints with the Saints right now in New Orleans. Their defense still trash though. Defense still trash. It's, it's, it don't matter. Like that's like Drew Brees getting the fucking another piece of another piece of plaque on the wall. It don't really I matter. Know, I like hate, I, yo, hate, I hate the AP. You me tell you what? Though. Me, you, we can all line up and go play with Drew Brees, and he probably still get five hundred. We, we can game. get a couple catches. You get. Uh, we get a few catches. I'm just saying. We, we can twitch it. We can get. <laughs> we can get eighty catches. No drops. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying it could happen. <laughs> that nigga twist said he had 80 catches, no drops, bro. If the man ain't dropped the ball, he ain't dropped the ball. That boy lying in Don't drop something. the That's ball, your boy. Ricky. No, it's not. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, all I'm saying is, man, I don't know. I'm ready, I'm ready for football. Season. So you think the South is going to be the toughest the toughest division? I think so. The South? Yeah. So we are said the same thing. NFC-wise. NFC-wise. NFC? Wise. NFC? Wise. NF- NFC? Uh-huh. NFC, the South? Yeah. I can see the West not being great. No. I can see the no wait well, and Who, I'm I'm I'm, tr- I'm trying not I'm trying not to. Okay, what with the East that make you think it's gonna be tough? The East, yeah. Well, the fact that the Giants are actually a pretty good team right now. And they added. Uh, they, they made the playoffs last year. They did. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. They did. So yeah. they're a pretty good team. They added Brandon Marshall to that, and then they beefed up the defense a little bit. So I, I felt like they weren't it's bad. Po- it's like if the biggest thing with, that I seen with the Giants was the fact that. Eli was inconsistent, and the offensive line needed a little help. So I felt like they addressed that a little bit through the draft, and they had a couple little pieces. So I like I like the Giants. So when you look at Washington, I'm like, well, damn, Washington, they they, they regressed a little bit. I don't think Washington gonna make the plus. They they're not gonna get it done. No, Washington's done. No, they're not gonna get it done. But I mean, they signed Terrell Pryor, right? Terrell Pryor's okay. No, he, he's good. Yo, but he's a beast. He's not gonna be the difference maker for them. No, he's not gonna do that. They lost no. a lot of people in there. Yeah. Uh, they don't. They lost some cats on defense too. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah. Um. What's the other team? Philly. Philly. They made some good moves. Philly made some good moves. I, I like but the I'm moves not Philly concerned. made. Not that I actually care about that. I'm not concerned. Though. But they made some good moves. To be honest, I'm not even concerned about Dallas. No. Too many addicts on that team. No. Too many addicts, bro. Niggas gonna smoke their life away. I ain't got that much. Yo, my team got a bunch of junkies on it. Hell yeah. But. I'm gonna tell you what. As long as Dak is healthy mm-hmm. and Ezekiel Elliott looks pretty good out there, uh-huh. I don't care who he throwing the ball to. He can throw it to Dez. He can throw it to fucking Switzer, who we just drafted. He can throw it to Jason Witten. He can throw it to Terrence Williams. I don't really care who he throw the ball to. I just need our offense to control the field. Our defense always been a little questionable, and we we trying to change that culture. So we got a lot of. I think we may actually start about 
three to four guys on defense that are rookies this year, which I'm like, okay, cool. I like that idea. But I think that we can actually – we can probably get some stuff done. So I, I think that maybe two to three teams out of the East make the – make the um, they actually make the playoffs. Uh-huh. Um, one of my boys said, what do we think about cruising Chicago? Nothing. I don't think about nothing. I don't think, do, I don't not think about do anything, nothing anyway. with cruising Chicago. It was a terrible sign for him. He's not going anywhere in Chicago. I'm going to tell you what, though. People actually knock Mike Glennon for making $15 million or getting 15 right. Mike Glennon was a middle-of-the-road quarterback that I don't think that he was better than Fitzpatrick. But I think that – I don't think Fitzpatrick was better than Mike Glennon. I think he, he was somewhere in the mix. First to where all, that he Like, I mean, when you got an opportunity, your team go – Two and fifteen or two or whatever the hell they did, and you get Jameis Winston, you draft a player like Jameis Winston. Let's be honest. So I don't think Mike Glennon was the true problem or the biggest problem that actually that was with uh, Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if he can get there and they can put some pieces around him there, he Look, may be okay. Let's be real. Nobody really cares about Cruz going to the Bears because they're going nowhere. Bears are not. The but Bears no, are well, going well, anyway. well, 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 well. Look, well, if they well, win, no, let's look, think about if this, they win six game, I buy somebody a shot. One person. If they, they win that much money, and, Mo, and Moshe, you get a shot if the Bears win six. Oh yeah, games. I by buy default, your shot. You get a I, shot. I buy your shot, you shot or whatever you want if the Bears win more than six games. All right, but no, I'm just saying they got a decent running back there. Who Howard? Howard. Yeah, one season. He's a rookie. I I get it. Give me a second season. I'm just saying he's a rookie. Give me a second season. He's still a rookie. He had a good year. I get it. He had a good year. They had, well, I mean, they had Forte before that, but I'm just saying they had. But but now they got a different quarterback, a different few pieces on offensive line. Just like, yo. So they they moving you know some, they, they got a lot of moving parts mm-hmm. there. I, I think the Bears, I don't think they're going to win six games. They're not going to win six games? They, they, they might get five, though. If they get six, I buy your boy a shot over there. All right, Moshe, got Real a talk. Shot. Whatever you want. Doesn't even matter at this point. I just I know it's not gonna happen. Go for the big expensive shit. <laughs> Do it. It is what it is. I'm not even concerned. I'm so far from being concerned about buying a shot for somebody because of the Bears. The Bears, the Bears win six games the Bears. until they got five wins and ten games, right? <laughs> until they got two wins and ten games. <laughs> Bears will take pick top five <laughs> next year, bro. Um, if they got their pick. I don't know who the, I don't know what the Bears. No, nah, the Bears don't got the Bears sold that pick. They probably sold <laughs> that pick. That's what I'm saying. If they got their pick. They pick top five next year, bro. Yo, they, they who are we looking? Oh, Jeffrey's gone. Yeah, he went. Like who they got? Howard. That's it. And who else? Oh boy, who been hurt? The um, Brent White, whatever his name is. Who uh, Kelvin? No, Kelvin White, the wide receiver. Yeah, that's yeah. Kelvin whatever White. his name. Is. Kelvin White. He's been hurt. We, we expect it's him trash. to come back and ball. No, Jay Cutler. Wasn't it? Yeah, Kelvin White. That's name. No, Jay Cutler. So I mean, who, Cut, Cutty wasn't helping him anyway. Exactly. Yo, but, Cutty quit. Cutty was like, yeah. Man, fuck y'all, boys. I'm, I'm good. I get I'm, it, but who, but who they got that we feel like going um, up their team? I don't feel like that. Nobody. I don't feel like that at Name all. Name a player besides Glennon, because, man, Glennon and Howard, because you know them. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, for real, on give, me, give me another player on, on Chicago besides Glennon and Howard. I don't know nobody It's so that. right. Like, you know what the fuck? Like, like, really? <laughs> Like, we expected them to win more than six games. Robbie Gold? No, he ain't with them no more. Damn, no, they, they cut they, him. They cut, yeah, they yeah, did. So we, <laughs> yo, I tried to squeeze that in there. I was like, yeah, maybe. Nah, maybe nah they let him go too. <laughs> so who? They got nobody. Exactly, They have bro. nobody. No, we're team. not even going to. No, I know nobody. And I love football. I know football. I know so, players all so what? Do, so what do you think about the Vikings, though? Do you feel like the Vikings is going to be like, they're going to push it a little bit? I think the, uh, they made the playoffs. No, no, they bought them out. They, yeah, they bought them out. Yeah, they bought them out uh, real bad. What up, Molly? I don't know, man. I really don't know. I, I have. When it comes to them, I really don't know, man. It can go either way. If Murray, not Murray, what's his name? Ooh, the running back? Yeah. Ooh, uh, the. Uh, came from Oakland. No, not that guy. Lynch? No, they no they running back. They oh, come from Oakland. No, we talking about um, oh, Latavius Murray. Okay, yeah, Murray. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if, if Murray. Balls out, and the offensive line hold up. I mean, they lost. Some they games. also had Dalvin Cook too. Yeah, I was saying, it, it's possible. It's, it's, it, it's possible. And I we, think I'm gonna tell you what. I think Sam Bradford is the the epitome of the ceiling is the roof. Yeah, don't like, do that. Like, yo, yo, <laughs> what you're not gonna yo, do? Yo, first Sam, of all, yo, Sam no, Bradford. No, fuck that. Shut up. <laughs> first of all, you're not gonna disrespect the ceiling is the roof. Yo, I feel like because Sam, when the ceiling is the roof, you win championships. So you're not gonna disrespect. 
the goat like that. Yo, you win a championship. Did he not win? A championship. Who else said the ceiling is the roof? I'm just saying. Besides the great one. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, when it comes back to Sam Bradford, though, I'm just saying that okay. he has a level to where he maxes out. This car only goes 65. He's like a U-Haul truck. Like, you get it on the road, it's only going to go. It don't matter how good it looks. They got the new AC in it and all this other fun stuff in it. It's not going that fast. It's, it's going to max out at 65. And that's Sam Bradford. He ain't going to get them over the hump. He ain't going to get them up the bridge. He ain't going to get them to the playoffs. He ain't going to do nothing. What he will do is probably sign another contract. Get another hundred million dollars. Yeah. He's getting Yo, paid. It's terrible. He's just out here getting paid. It's bro. so bad for no fucking reason. He's just getting That's paid. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad, right there. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, I've seen low things in my life, right there. That's that's pretty damn low. That's, Yo, that's pretty low. Yeah, you got time though. That's pretty low, man. <laughs> Yo, I just so happened to look at the. Yo, you got t- damn. That shit happened right at the beginning of it. Come on, seven. I'm just, yo, you got me, man. Hey, Who's the dog. other running back from Minnesota? Uh, Art, us, 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 uh, uh, Asada? Asada, whatever his Matt name is. Matt Asada? Yeah, 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 he trash. Don't worry about it. Yo, you should draft ah, him. Ah, no, You should draft him on your fantasy motion. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, he going to get you nothing. But. Hey, so what's up What's up, What's up? up fantasy this year? Because I'm not in control of it this year. All right. I'm so, done with y'all niggas, bro. I'm done. I'm, I, I'm, I'm run, so I, done. You know what? We're listen, doing fantasy. Hey, with listen. Y'all. Hey, listen. I run our fantasy league this year, and what we will do for the one stop podcast when we talk about fantasy football, what we're gonna do is extend, we do it every week. We're gonna do a one stop podcast fantasy football draft. Yep. So anybody that's hearing this one right now, you got first dibs on our getting our fantasy football draft. Oh, yeah. and we're gonna we'll probably actually record the whole dang on thing live. Oh yeah, and um, I think that's what we're gonna we're gonna open it up to. Yeah, so we're gonna open it up. It's, it's gonna be a one stop podcast fantasy draft. Uh, if we fuck with you, if you fuck with us, whatever, we'll get you in there. It's gonna be a fun draft, man. It's gonna be good. We're gonna we're gonna do the whole draft live. Oh yeah. I think. But all I know is our other group, I'm not in control oh, no, of it anymore. I, I, I run. I got yeah, it. Please I got run it. it, cause I, got it. I, got I don't want to control it. I don't want to collect the money. I don't want to do none of that. I just want to play this year. I run it. I cause run I'm it. done. I run it. I am done. I run it. Okay. Cool. You know what? I I run the whole league, and if you don't pay when I say you need to be paid. Then I pay for you, and if you win, you win. I, I win. win. You ain't gonna let them know you pay for them, though? House wins. <laughs> House rules, baby. House rules, man. Hey, man, but. um. Hey, we're gonna go by dirty first before we go to Jay's? Yes. Bad. I like that idea. But uh, it's been real kicking with everybody on the One Stop Podcast. Hey, man, appreciate y'all for coming out where we talk, talk sports, sports and, and all, all that, that other, other shit. shit. Hey, man, it's been good. See y'all next time. I know y'all out. Enjoy y'all Memorial Day weekend, and you guys be safe. Have a good time. Drink, don't drive. Drink up, bitches. You know what I'm Be saying? Be married. <laughs> Get an Uber. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, wait a minute, goddamn minute, Rondell. Wait one goddamn minute, Rondell. <laughs> hey, man, y'all be good, man. Good night.